Well, the election platforms are heating up in the local government election race, and it would appear verbal jousts are getting a bit personal in the lead-up to the November 28th election. That as Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley addressed statements made by Mrs. Kamala Pasad Bisesa about his children. You know what the issue is? That I have more children outside than I have inside. You understand? Well, I want to tell Mrs. Pasad Bisesa tonight, that is none of your goddamn business. Because as long as Sharon is happy with how much I have outside and how much I have inside, Raul is happy with that. Probably not what you want to hear in the lead up to the local government election. But the Prime Minister, Dr. Keith Rowley, has responded to statements made by the opposition leader about his children. The Prime Minister also lashed out at Mrs. Pasad Bisasa saying, with just over a week to go before the polls, her campaign is based on the wives of the PNM ministers. We have about eight campaigning days left in this election. And up to now, the opposition led by Mrs. Kamala Pasad Bisesa has not engaged anything useful. Her entire involvement in this campaign so far is to interfere with people's families. Well, if your family is a mess, we left you with that. What you interfere with our families for? She now has put her teeth into ministers' wives. And of course, ministers' children. He went on to accuse the former Prime Minister of spending $350,000 on roti for a one Diwali celebration. But you're coming out to harass my soul case about a contract that you had five years to deal with. And so bad was that PNM contract that she had in both wife or whoever it is, that you gave her more contract under your government. But you're waving that. I want you to waive the receipt for the roti, $350,000 in roti for one Diwali function at the Prime Minister's residence. Look at this crowd here tonight. If I give every one of you two rotis, I can't spend that kind of money. The PNM has based their local government election campaign on local government reform and has asked the population to vote for them if they want to see a change in this country. He warned against voting for the UNC, a party he said while in government wasted billions of dollars on the Point Fortin Highway among other projects and many of the projects are not completed. Rishi Harinanan, CNews.